Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror from the Deep. Uh, in the last episode, we kind of got a lot more than we bargained for. We lost our displacer. We lost a rookie, which isn't the end of the world, but we lost his armor, which sucked. And we didn't get any Zerbite. I thought that was going to be an easy hunter mission. Zerbite, lovely. But no. That actually went really badly for us, but that's the way this game goes, unfortunately. Hopefully we can... Uh, Hunter, Lobster Man... Ooh. 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 Can we... Can we redeem ourselves from that embarrassing last mission? Uh... Um, Aquanauts. Uh, okay. Equip submarine, uh, Triton. We need more men. Uh, let's get you on board. Let's get you on board. That's eight. Oh, we got that, though. Hmm. Um. I guess. Now. If we're f fighting... These guys, right, so we've got a full squad of 14 men. Uh, which is definitely looking a little bit healthier. We've got lots of equipment. Thermal shock. We don't have a huge amount of disruptor ammo left. <laughs> well, actually, uh, you know, we've got nearly 30 rounds, but it's not as many as it could be, believe me. Um, hmm. I don't know whether to try and wait for the disruptor displacer. Uh, you know what? Barracuda 3, go. Uh, oh. See what happens. Allocate manufacture. Uh, new production. Let's, let's take a gamble, shall we? A cheeky gamble. Start production, yep. Just fucking build millions of those. Cool, sell, right, fine, good. Intercept, Triton, go. We're gonna miss it, aren't we? And I didn't even equip it. Oh, you moron. Didn't even equip the displacer. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. None of it matters if we get there in time. Okay, fine, sure. Right, in that case, uh, load up with another one. Um, we don't need these. You can have a med kit though, sure. These are actually pretty good against lobster men, to be honest with you. They really actually are quite good. Uh, so, why not? The displacer cannon does worry me. I'm not going to lie. The displacer cannon is... Fairly concerning. Um, I'm hope. Oh, he picked that up. I'm hoping we're not going to have to worry too much about it, but I'm also realistic and I know how these things go. And I had to cut there, guys. Luckily, load 
we actually have auto battlescapes so we can restart the battle again thank god for that because my ui mouse disappeared uh which it kind of does that with the blaster launcher every now and again but it didn't come back we didn't actually get anywhere in the battle so that well actually we've got like three turns in so nothing actually happened but yeah that that was strange anyway all right let's get this thing out again Basically got this out around here somewhere and two or three guys out and then my mouse disappeared, which hmm. I don't remember having all these bugs actually when we played the original game all those years ago, but I guess that was a while ago now, right? Um, okay And I also noticed that we got three guys here with bloody DLP launchers, which is it three or four? Yeah, three guys with DLP launchers. <laughs> Which, you know what? Fine. I guess. I guess it takes like two or three to bring one lobster man down anyway. So, yeah, yeah I guess it makes sense. Alright, let's get some guys mobile. I'm going to get the maximum height. Because why not? Yep, yeah, definitely getting a, uh, a lot more bugs with Terra from the Deep. Uh, I don't know how much of that is down to my computer and how much is down to the game. Like I said, when we did um, the original XCOM years ago, I don't actually. I don't think we had many bugs. It was quite a while ago now. I can't really remember to be honest. Thinking about it, I guess we might have. All right. I don't know if like. The map changes and it doesn't look like it does like when you reload the start of a battle the maps don't change hmm okay always curious about that I wonder if I reload this save actually uh, from the beginning of this um, complete video I wonder if you can do that to choose the maps. Or are the maps predetermined by where you actually start the encounter? I might have to look that up. That would be quite interesting to find out. Okay. Squad ready. Now we've got everyone deployed. I'm going to save it because... Uh... Yeah, because, I mean, luckily we haven't had the black screen. I mean, that's good. Ooh. But the UI cursor disappearing is a new one. Now, can we get at this guy? Uh, he's got the Disruptor Pulse Launcher. That's bad. Anyone shoot at him? Aimed. Okay. Ooh, I w would he be a soldier, I wonder? What type of trooper he would be? Because I always thought the DUP guys... Oh, you dickhead. Guys! Guys, listen to me. You can't fuck this up. Alright? This guy has a DLP launcher. He could probably... Oof. Oh my god, he's tough. He could probably end all of us in like one shot. So... You need to bring him down. Oof. He's not even dead. Not even dead. It's just unconscious. Man, lobster men are so strong. Oh, good God. Well. Hopefully by separating the tank. Yeah, let's spread some people out. I don't know how many D... Uh, DPW or DPLs. Oh, I don't know why I keep calling them that. They're DPL launchers. I don't know how many of them there actually are. 
on a ship at any one time. I always thought it was the commanders that had them, you know. And I always thought that the commanders stayed on the bridge of the ship. I could be wrong, I guess. My knowledge of Terror from the Deep is not as good as it is uh, in the original game. Oh, what do you have? Fuck has disappeared. Oh, okay. You've got a sonic rifle. I can't see what you've got. All right, well, let's light them up. Um, I don't know what you have. That's actually quite concerning. I suppose we could drop DUPs. Or DPs on them. Can you hit him? Give me aimed. Yeah, we can actually hit him. Cool. Okay. I was wondering if he was going to be obscured. But I guess not. 74% accuracy. That's nice. Well, it would be nice if the 74% accuracy actually hit. But I suppose 50-50 yeah, so far. That makes sense. That's, that's good odds for XCOM. 60%. Ooh, killed him in two hits. That's not bad. Oh, there's the sub. Okay. Hmm. And this guy just has a rifle by the look of things. Ah, oh, that was bad. That was awful. We can shoot with this thing, but I don't think there's any point whatsoever. Uh... We could shoot with these, but at this range, 60%, yeah, we're not going to hit nothing. Um, I don't even know if this weapon can hurt it, to be honest. I guess... We can advance and try and soak up the damage. I mean, it's not going to shoot anything else. It will shoot the tank. Ooh! Ooh, DLP! Oh, no. Shit. I don't care about the tank. Now I'm worried that there's a freaking DLP launcher out in the open somewhere. Do they reload them? Do they know how to reload them? Ah, oh, shit. I have no idea. I have no idea. And we know. We know there's a lobster man down there as well. So. Come on. He's not been seen yet. Mmm, this mission just got a whole lot more intense. And can we stop moving these guys, please? Thank you. This mission just got seriously intense. Oh, God. Oh, man, that hurts. Does that hurt? How much does that hurt? That hurts a lot. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to need you to kneel. I'm going to need you to hit him. Yeah. Right. I need you. Come on. Aim shot. What is with the accuracy? 60 or percent accuracy. That was 70% accurate. And he still missed. 70%. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's not going our way, is it? It is really not going our way today. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, maybe these things actually are not the, the magic idea that I thought they were going to be. Not enough to use. How many wounds do you have? Three. Oh, God. Who's got a med kit? You've got a med kit. Uh, that was stupid. I did not want to do that. Okay. Right, you fired. You haven't fired. Give me an aim shot. Please hit. Okay. Fine. That was fine. Um, who's got a med kit? Who's got a med kit that can still move? Not you. Someone's got to have a med kit. Right, let's just slowly encroach. Oh, that was so bad. We've got to remember why we're doing this. Oh, we're doing this for the ZR bite. We're doing this for the ZR bite. I don't mind it. I they they can DLP themselves all they like. That's fine. You are going to go sit in the boat, mate. Because you're fucked. You're out of the fight. There you go. You're good. You're gravy. I don't know how many shots they generally have for that either. Right, you go sit over there. And think about something. Something not involving aliens. Yeah. Your fight's basically over. Okay. You guys can scout. You need to scout for the spotters, I think, really. There's, uh, the thing is, we know there's another one down here somewhere. We don't know where. We know there's another one down here somewhere. Fucking dickhead. There he is. Hey, friend. Nice to meet you. I'd like to extend my hand to you. Reach out and shake your neck. Oh, boy. 74% uh, chance. Okay. All right. Not bad. All right, get back inside. Get back inside. You. If you load up, you can give me 34% shot. No. You can give me 59%. Okay. Yeah. It's XCOM, so that was never going to hit. Ah, you, 71%, on the other hand, you have a chance. Nice. Now, I think that was the only other one that got round us. I could be wrong. What the hell happened here? Please don't say that's my delicious ZR bite. Might actually use some of these guys as scouts, to be honest. Okay. Ooh. Something, uh, something big happened inside there. When that DLP round went off. Ouch. Kind of like flatlined something. I want another guy down there. Kind of don't really want to push one of these guys down here, but I don't want this guy on his own. Oh! I 
don't know what he's armed with. These things... Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't think these are capable of hitting. 31 TUs, no. Okay, well, we might have to nuke him then. Unless our flyboys can thread that needle. Oh, I don't actually know what weapon he had. Uh, right, let's advance the flying guys. Because these are our saviors at the moment. Our guardian angels, if you will. Oh man, this is this is tense. And I can't believe we're almost on half an hour already. Although I did have uh I can't remember if it was three or four turns of the last mission. Yeah, I think yeah, two or three turns of the last well, a failed attempt at this mission when my cursor disappeared. So I don't know how long that was. Uh, right. Hmm. I don't know whether to drop a fucking DL, uh, a DP right through there. I am so tempted to crack that and move in. That could be a really good idea. There could be these snivelling. Dirty turds could be anywhere. Oh, man. I don't want you to be too exposed because you're actually a decent soldier. Yeah. I mean, your MC strength is, well, will be problematic later on. I have no doubt about that. But for now, you're actually a good soldier. H, you're also a very good soldier. I, but you need to move up, buddy. You really do. Now, yeah, we've blown a big hole through here by the look of things. I guess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What were they doing? What were they doing? Where did that round come from? You actually need to reload. Okay. don't really want to blow a hole in here because I mean I guess we could but I've just got this feeling that we're going to see a um, DLP round just rip where's DLP from I'm trying to think I must have played a game recently with some kind of DLP weapon Outer Worlds maybe I don't know Yeah, maybe we could crack this open and have them come to us, but that's usually not a bad plan, but lobster men freaking suck. Lobster men are so tough. I don't really like the idea of them ever coming towards us, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. They're still playing with the doors inside. Which makes sense. Maybe we crack the top. Maybe we crack the top. We finish scouting out outside. And then we crack open the top. And scoop the meat. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I think this, this map is going to be clear now. It's just what's left inside. And then they shouldn't be that difficult to breach. Not really. I mean, they are. They're bastards to breach, but they shouldn't be too bad. Okay. 
Okay, so there's no point moving him in. I can move you in though. And I'm not even sure how useful it's going to be to have these guys, these stun guys going in, to be honest. I wish I knew how many DLP launchers they had. Or DP launchers. Uh, right, let's punch a hole in the top. Well, be the best to breach, maybe from the front. We know from last time, breaching from that side was not a good idea. Maybe breaching from here could be a better idea, actually. Yeah. That could work, but we're going to have to move everyone back. Right, move all of our dudes back. Get them out of here. Like so. And we're just going to rip open the side of the sub. And we're going to breach in from there. Yep. Yep, I don't want to go in the other side. Right, everyone else? Yeah, you're pretty far away, to be honest. Okay, open her up. Uh. Right, she's open. Did you actually get hurt? No. I was going to say, that would be absolutely ridiculous if you did. Right, you're there. Who else? Tempted to put a round in as well. To be 100% honest with you. We could put some grenades in there. Who else is flying? You're flying, but you're DLP. But I suppose... You could probably put another round in there, maybe? Let's get you ready to breach this side as well. Okay. Oh, nothing good's gonna come of this. I can feel it in my jellies. Alright. If need be, we can put some more DPs in there. I'm actually thinking that might not be a terrible idea. We know the the iron generators are back there, and that's all we really want, to be honest. The rest can burn. So, on that note... Hmm... I guess... Yeah, at least that levels all of the uh, cover that they've got in there. Tempted to put another one in too. Shall we? Yeah, why not? Let's really rock the house. Uh, sure, just launch it in there. Well, something went up. I don't know what, but something went up. Their morale must be uh, a little bit shaken. Okay, we can get a good look inside now. Tempted to start throwing grenades in. Not enough to use. Yeah, so next turn we can fill that thing with grenades. 
Now, we know grenades aren't brilliant against these things, but they will soften them up. Got one in there. One over there. Fine. Okay. Oh, God. Let's go. Kind of want to. Wish we could blow up a little bit more. There's no one there. We're going to get shot. I know we are. Just going to get some random shots coming down. Let's get these guys to move in. I'm not sure how useful these guys are actually going to be going in the bottom, but I suppose we don't really have too much to lose, do we? You know, apart from these guys' lives. But hey, right. You can reload. Oof, we've used a lot of rounds. We've used a lot of rounds. Where do we have every plasma guy? No, there's another plasma flyer here. Get him in on the action. Okay, anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here because we're on 40 odd minutes. At least before I've edited out the issues. Oh wow, we've actually blown a hole in the top. That's good to know. Hmm might have to use that so uh, when we come back we are going to assault this freaking hunter and I tell you what it better be worth it will it be worth it I don't know but I mean there's like a hundred ZR byte in there we've already used God knows how much in in ammo <laughs> in our uh, uh, disruptor pulse launchers, but mmm surely it's got to go right, surely surely, we've already lost our tank not that we actually care about the tanks the tank just costs money, and money is money's kind of unlimited for us at the moment hmm, anyway guys thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time